not the same. Welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is Monica and today we're gonna be doing an updated beauty room tour I do cheat a bit because technically I don't have a separate room this is clearly my bedroom but since most of it is dedicated to beauty I call it my beauty room <laughs> I realized I haven't done one of these in a bit and I did do a couple of different I guess updates to my room and my organization and a, a couple of my cute displays so I thought you know what why not Oop. It would help if you could actually see the room, huh? <laughs> and I thought, you know what? Why not just do an updated version of this so we could see all the cute things I did? <laughs> so we are going to swing all the way to the right and start with the vanity. So this setup is something that's fairly familiar if you've seen any of my everyday makeup baskets. This is my everyday makeup basket over here. It's just on top of a like TV stand kind of thing. I've got my vanity, my computer, and then this little shelf back here holds like all my makeup brushes. I got a ring light. And then over here, scoot, scoot, scoot. This is the majority of my makeup collection right over there. So let's zoom in and do a quick overview. So over here we've got my everyday makeup basket. I won't go too in depth here just because I go over it every month. So if you're interested, check out my everyday makeup basket series. I'll throw it up in the cards. Next to it I have my Pan That Palette, a tripod, Nintendo Switch Lite because I love Animal Crossing, and my little uh, monogram towel. I love these towels. They're just so cute. Scooching on over. Over here I've got the mirror I use every day for my makeup. I've got my laptop, of course. Let's zoom in to this bookshelf kind of thing back here. So it's a little bit hard to see from here um, just because it's so close to the wall. I'm just gonna pull some things out to look at them. So this is where I keep all my face brushes, just in here. Nothing too exciting. I like having them right there, ready to go. Over here, I have a really cute skull that my best friend made me for, I think it was either birthday or Christmas last year. Oh, how pretty. It's actually like a little container. So I put like little brushes and stuff in there, but I love having it right here. Up here, it's hard to see behind the ring light, but this is a shelf. So I've got some uh, face brushes that were sent to me in PR. I've got a dirty makeup brush I need to clean. And then I keep just all of my eye brushes back here. I like having these little containers to organize them in. And I've just got two of them right now. <laughs> And then the last thing up here is just some acetone and some uh, spray brush cleanser. And that's it for this section. Over in this top left corner, I just keep my microphone. This is the microphone I use whenever I actually do like a sit down video. I'm obviously not using it right now, but it is a, uh, let me pull it off. It's a blue snowball. And instead of having a pop mic because I'm cheap, I just put a sock over it. It works, it works. And I like keep every, everything neat and organized and put away when I'm not using it. So this is everything 
neat. Moving on over to this section, I'm gonna move, I've got the umbrella lights, I keep these up just so I can have them ready for filming. Again, if you wanna see the actual makeup collection in detail, check out my everyday makeup baskets because I go through this literally every month. And then behind it, it's a little hard to see, but back here, <laughs> I basically um, kept decluttered makeup that I was originally going to sell, but then uh, COVID happened. So I don't know, I might either undeclutter it and put it back into my collection or give it to friends or maybe I'll still try to sell it. I don't know, but that's just kind of the miscellaneous basket right there. Moving on over to this little corner, I actually love this corner. I've just got some bags. I've got um, a bag from a wand shop from Harry Potter World. I've got a Sephora bag and then I've got a Mac bag. I've also still got my um, Sephora uh, name tag back when I worked at Sephora for all of like a summer. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> anyway, so I've got those bags up there. I normally just keep other bags in there or um, what? Mac containers so I can do back to Mac so I don't remember or I don't forget to not recycle them and bring them back to Mac instead. And then down here we have one of my favorite parts of my whole room. This is my eyeshadow palette bookshelf and I did change up the top of the bookshelf so let's zoom in there. So if you haven't been able to tell by now I love skulls and skeletons and spooky things so i've got this little candelabra that was literally just like a paper craft i got at target a couple of halloweens ago it's adorable i got this clock this was actually a gift from my boyfriend like the first year we were together i don't have it like set up or anything but it looks hella cool these two makeup brush holders they're coffee mugs from um taylor Wynn. one of her previous 15 days of foundation uh, campaigns. She had mugs and I've always used them just to organize my brushes. I love them. And then all the way over here we have a cute little uh, snow globe. Let me shake it up. And it's, it plays spooky music too. Isn't that not the best? really sets the mood, doesn't it? I love it. So that's the top shelf. Moving down, the next two and a half shelves are just all eyeshadow palettes. I try to keep them organized by like brand. It's not the most organized thing in the world. Honestly, I probably need to go back through and do like another declutter, but I've got those shelves. And then the very bottom shelf. Yeah, so this very bottom shelf, I keep all of my dirty sponges in that big coffee cup. I keep all my sheet masks over here. And then we've got other eyeshadow palettes. The bigger ones are down there. And then more more skulls. Those are little tequila bottles that my boyfriend and I had a few years ago. And let me see, anything else? Yeah, I keep the empty containers from my last two pen that palettes. The one on the left is Subculture. One on the right is the Marc Jacobs style icon in Lolita. All right, so from over in this corner, if we swivel, you'll have my nice window and my AC unit that is keeping me sane. Thank you. Um, and down here, I just have a little like, vision board kind of thing. I just keep like cute little snippets of things, pictures, drawings, uh, receipts and stuff, just whatever I feel like. I clean it off every uh, January 1st, so I like to keep this and do this like once a year just to see, you know, what I can collect for the year. Moving to my bedside table, I have a Google Nest, which is actually pretty cool. And um, I've got my alarm clock that I really don't use anymore because I've got the Google Nest. I've got a little candle. I like burning candles during the day. And then I've got the two books that I'm reading. Let me grab them real quick. So these are the two books that I'm reading right now. This is an old childhood favorite that I really wanted to reread. It's By Side of the Mountain by Jean Craighead George. And then this is the new book that I'm reading. This is called Voracious, A Hungry Reader Cooks Her Way Through Great Books. This is by Cara Nicoletti. From there, we've got my bed and my corgi butt pillow that my friend got me for my birthday last year. <laughs> I've got a bunch of my pillows, and then I've, I love these built-in bookshelves. They're so pretty. If you really want to go through all of my books, I did an updated bookshelf tour a few months ago. I'll throw that up in the cards if you missed it. But that I literally go through every book there. So check that out if you're interested in all the books that are over here, and then eventually all the ones over here. As you can probably see, this is a small attic, and I am a small person. I'm only five foot two, so yes, this is a twin size bed, and yes, I did get it from the kids section at IKEA. Sue me. This is my second favorite part of my room. This is the big front mirror. Mirror. 
this is the big front window and I've got these cute little twinkle lights up here they're just so pretty and I love the, the checkered curtains I've got those I've got some jewelry hanging from a cute little jewelry hanger over here and then of course I have more spooky stuff <laughs> I have a flower crown a bunch of magazines um, a rose from when I saw Phantom of the Opera on Broadway and then my um wand from when I went to Harry Potter world I've got this cute skull uh what is it called port is a portrait no it's like where it's only the side of your face I'm just I'm losing my words right now but that's adorable my best friend Brooke got me that and then this adorable thing <laughs> this was actually like a bouquet Halloween thing that my boyfriend got me from Home Depot last Halloween right how cute is this so like look at the whole I just love this so much. I use this normally as the backgrounds for when I'm filming like cute product shots or something. I just love this little section. And I love that if since my bed is right here, I can like sit and just enjoy like open the window, enjoy and sit and do some reading or go on TikTok. <laughs> and then down here, I just have like extra storage. So I've got a little Hannibal Lecter and a whole bunch of Lush Pots <laughs> and then a uh, Phantom of the Opera music box. Yeah random things but I love how this turned out so from here we swivel on past the other built-in bookshelf and then we go to my dresser okay so a big overview here is that I have most of my clothes that are not hanging up if you actually scoot over here and you see that's my little closet out there <laughs> but we're not doing it out there we're basically focusing here in the bedroom but everything that doesn't hang up in that closet it goes into these little drawer thingies right here and then these open ones I just got cute little things on display um, some family things like that camera is an old actually old vintage camera my grandpa had um, and then I've got my mother's jewelry box over here and then a bunch of candles <laughs> Just a lot of candles i love candles so much and then on top we get into a lot of like my nail care hair care kind of items and then these containers over here they're a bunch of storage so i've got a bunch of hair care products i've got um a bunch of headbands <laughs> we'll go through them in just a second so because the slant on the ceiling goes all the way down here it was a bit hard to work with this kind of shelf setting just because there's not much you can really put on top without it running into the ceiling but over here I've got all of like my um, daily hair care so I've got my clips I've got my scrunchies I've got my brush my spray bottle um, the gels that I'm using the moisturizers I'm using and the oils that I'm using I'll just go in here nice little container this container right here is mainly nail polish so this is a bunch of nail polish mainly hollow taco and then more hollow taco and then a couple of extra non hollow tacos uh, this is a spray from Dry Bar that I'm trying to finish up. It's almost empty. It was a little sample size. I got another cute little skull. Look at him. He's adorable. I got my nice Tom Ford perfume. I've got this uh, cup that I just keep uh, either little samples in or bobby pins. Mainly bobby pins. Here I've got my giant Cinema Secrets brush cleanser. This is like my favorite. Like It's not a deep cleaner, but like a day in, day out brush cleaner. It's amazing. And look at this giant one. I got this at Sephora. Or not at Sephora. I bought it online at Sephora. Love it. And then moving up, I've got like some decorative kind of things. So I really like um, the idea of hanging up like the headbands that I use. I normally wear one of these whenever I'm doing my makeup. Um, and then I've got like other hair ties hung up over there along with my mirror over here. This is where I actually do my hair. This is a bouquet that my boyfriend made me for our, I want to say our second anniversary together. He, uh, it's in another part of my other room, but he made me a rose for our first date and I just, I love them because I can keep them forever and they're the cutest things ever. So I keep those on display all the time. So there's my mirror. Those are my other headbands hanging up. And then we come over here to where I've got just products. So I've got deodorant. I've got some like mini hair care products that I need to try out. So I have those up there in the center. This is a Batiste dry shampoo that I got gifted to me through Influencer, and I really liked it. I'm surprised by how much I like the dry shampoo. So I've been using that as my dry shampoo. And then my day in and day out kind of perfume body sprays. Of course, the Japanese cherry blossom from Bath and Body Works. I literally have like four backups now because a few weeks ago they did a big sale online. I bought a bunch. <laughs> So I've got those. Down here I've got a couple of like sentimental makeup things. This is the Fenty highlight I just finished, my first full size highlighter pan. I've got the box from the Makeup a Murder Crime Scene tape because it's adorable. I freaking love it. <laughs> um, I've got my very first eyeshadow palette ever which is like 
probably expired, most likely expired. And that's the Too Faced Boudoir Eyes eyeshadow palette. And then down here I've got my Burberry perfumes. One's empty, one is not. I've got my Lush Karma perfume. And then I've got this Lucky Cat that my aunt and uncle got me for Christmas. I want to say two years ago, but it's just adorable and I like having him around. <laughs> Last but not least for this section, at least on top, I just have a scarf on top of the containers. This is the deep conditioner I'm currently using, if it would like to focus. This is from Shea Moisture. It's the Curl Enhancing Curl Smoothie. I actually don't really like the smell of this that much. It smells kind of dank, but it, it's really moisturizing, so that's why I'm using it. And then I've got a candle warmer over here. It looks just like calcifer. My friend Brooke made that for me and I've got some candles I do not burn candles on top of this it's just here for decor and then when I do burn candles either I put them on top of here or in another part of my room so uh fire safety <laughs> be careful be careful with fire now for in here I've just got like random things like in here like all of my hair ties some of these are hard to open because they're so heavy these are makeup wipes that my family got me. I've got makeup remover. I've got Tiger Balm in there. There we go. These are some backup hair care products. I don't know I'm going to break everything if I try to open it with one hand. But I've got some a more dry shampoo. I've got some sprays. I've got some conditioners. And then these are just kind of like half empty drawers. I've got some gel and other stuff. So we're almost back to where we started the front of the room. So from over here, if we scoot, we just have this little section left. Now, most of what was in this blue container, I moved over to these containers because I wanted to get rid of this blue one, but we didn't have anywhere to give it away to. I didn't want to just throw it out. So I brought it back into my room and now it's like half empty. I got to reorganize all of these drawers. But anyway, up top, I've got my <laughs> just miscellaneous jar. I've got like pens, highlighters, knives <laughs> you know whatever you keep in your junk drawer is just kind of in there and then i've got books behind it so let's go to the books all right so i've got like a meditation kind of workbook thing i have a design book i've got a novel called the gown i've got the manga cheese sweet home i've got a book uh why buddhism is true i've got the devil wears prada uh, little fires everywhere and then the theater of war and then on top we've got the new hollow taco rainbow collection and a jar of uh, Tiger Balm, because I like to have it nearby. <laughs> and then like these drawers, they're nothing like too special. This is mainly skincare, like up here. I've got, you know, The Ordinary, some Clinique, and then down here is like nail care. Yeah, so that's about it. All right, so there we have it. That is my quote unquote beauty room tour. Hope you guys liked it. If there's any questions you guys have about like where I got any of like the furniture and stuff, just shoot it in the comments and I'll respond to as many as I can. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.